I'm Katrina, and this is Sew and Tear. Today we are improving our cone for butchering quail, and uh, first step is to draw around the bucket, and we don't need to cut or anything, this is just replacement of the holes. And once we have our bounds for that, we're getting out the, the whole drill bit, and um, put that together. I'm filming this, so I do whatever you I don't remember what size we used, but you can use any size you like, depending on your um, the size of the of the bottle you're using. It just needs to sit in in the wood nicely, you know, not tip over. So you have to measure with your bottles. Okay, with five or more? I mean, I think maybe you can put two holes there, two holes there, just in case we want to do it later. Two. Two? In case we want it later, because that's enough room for the cups, right? It can be strong chain, too. I mean, I kind of was thinking about putting it closer to the edge but I think it'll work. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> you, you want to show me how you, you're going to get the thing out? What thing out? This? Yeah, that. That's easy. And safe. <laughs> I, All right. never, I never said anything about safe. So, the idea behind this is in the past we've had one cup um, one uh, cone that we made out of a for sparkling water thing and we've put that in the sink of um, a processing table so we've we've always used a cone like this um, this is after F from a crystal geyser um, sparkling water one liter I think and we always use this in our processing sink, but we can always do one. So we like, we thought about this last time we processed is to make a board where we have several um, holes over a bucket that we can do. And that will save time because you have to, we, we let the, the blood drain. Um, not everybody lets them drain as long as we do, but we like to let it drain. And then that will make processing faster because you just um, dispatch a lot of them, do that, go on to your next step, and then come back and, and um, do the next batch. Alright, so he's just putting screws on the outside of that circle, which means that's the outside of the bucket, so that when the birds are moving, it doesn't fly off. You can see we have an assortment of bottles there. Our original one is here. It's a wider one. I'm kind of thinking that I'm going to like that one best, but we'll see how the other ones work. I mean, we have Tropicana. We have water bottles, we have different kinds of water bottles. So 
This one's a little narrow. We'll see. We'll see what we like best. Is that sturdy enough? Yep. You don't want to put a screw on the inside? I'm thinking it's a, but I can put it on. If it doesn't need it, we don't need it. That's fine. This time what we're going to do is we're going to have several of these cones set up so they can bleed. And then we're going to cut the head into here. And uh, so cut the head cut the head into here and then let them over into bleed. And then, um, you know, give them a minute or so to bleed. So fair warning, the next photo is going to be showing with the quail inside the cones. If you feel you're going to be sensitive to that, then I would stop the video here. And if you are not going to be sensitive to that, then go ahead and continue watching. Thank you. So these cones worked out really well. All of the different kinds worked. Um, the one that was a little bit skinnier, it was it worked okay, but the wider ones I felt worked a little better because um, they just slid right in and it was fine. So this is definitely a way that we're going to be using in the future. And I recommend if you're doing this method to, you know, have more place for them to bleed out than just one cone at a time. It's going to save time. Thanks for watching and I hope this helps you with your butchering process. And if you liked it, like it and subscribe and share it with a friend. Have a good day. Thank you.